like if I am to talk about the expectations that you have about the course, I believe going forward, this course should fulfill each of your expectations. And it's uh, wonderful to learn, uh, I mean, it's wonderful to understand that uh, the people in this batch, they're looking for such, uh, such a bright career in the model development and with the groups that you got to learn. I believe that this particular uh, class is really going to go ahead. I mean, it's going, it, it's going to go a long way. So, <clears throat> now one more thing that I would like to say right at the outset is, so if you are uncomfortable with any point, no matter how small or how large it is, or how crucial or how significant or insignificant it is, no matter what, just feel free to get back to me. Within the class, after the class, as you might find it comfortable, right? So. Uh, that's much, uh, that's, uh, that's the basic thing I want to say. So, like before starting off, if you guys have any other, uh, like any other queries that you would like to ask me, to clarify, so please go ahead. Yeah, Yogesh, anything that you would like to ask me? Uh, yeah. yeah, hi, Tom, man. Yeah. Uh, so, Yogesh. Yeah, so Yogesh or Edge? Uh, Yogesh. Yeah, Yogesh. Yeah, I mean, uh, so uh, I have heard about this C care and PPNR modeling also in the past few days. I mean, I have mm -hmm. saw I've seen my colleagues working on these two a lot. Mm -hmm. So, uh, will a basic understanding or I mean, some kind of you know uh, knowledge will be given about these two yeah. modeling so, techniques? Yeah the third section of this model development of this course. So basically we do have a section which talks about regulatory requirements because without regulatory, without understanding of the regulatory requirements, it is not possible for us to develop models, right? So the, I mean industry model development or credit risk model development is not, is quite different from an academic model development exercise. You cannot use every technique everywhere. So you have to actually uh, have an understanding of the regulatory requirements. So we are actually covering CCAR and PPNR, but that's at a very uh, theoretical level because that forms a part of stress testing, right? So that's a part of regulatory stress testing models, they, especially CCAR, so which is outside the scope of this uh, module. Over here, our focus mainly would be on developing PD, LGD, EAD models in understanding the associated statistical procedures that are there for uh, these PDLG EAD models and so on. So it's more or less, it's more of a risk model development oriented uh, module rather than a stress testing module because stress testing is a very specific type of an exercise where you need to, uh, so it, even though it falls under the domain of uh, credit risk, but yes, it is an, it's a whole different exercise altogether. So we are actually working on a specified module for stress testing, uh, which I think will be coming up in mid of next year. So, but for this CRM, yes, we will be talking about uh, regulatory requirements, but again, I repeat, our main focus would be on Basel, AFLL, IFRS. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we will be talking about CCAR because understanding capital structure of a bank and stress testing is important, but that would be of secondary importance in this course. So the major focus would be on understanding, developing the risk models also, as well as developing business scorecards. Okay. Hi, uh, Hi, Mona. Uh, I just heard you talking about the CCAR PG LGD models. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to understand that uh, when we say that when we are we are going to talk about the model development here, are mm -hmm. we including the validation part also in this module that uh, how? Uh, yes, obviously. If you are actually developing a model, you have to validate it. So uh, the back testing and uh, stress testing, everything will be included. Like how do we do uh, or what exactly that, is it? Yeah, but that's a model stress testing. That's not the CICA stress testing. Okay. 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 So when you are actually stress testing a PD or a EAD model, so right. you are doing a PR1 stress testing, right? 
right. Now, when you are talking about CCAR, that's a whole different concept yeah. altogether. Because currently where I'm working, it is uh, I'm working on the CCAR PDLD model. So I okay. couldn't make much of uh, practical sense out of the document that I've been going through or the validation. So I would be mm -hmm. needing a proper, uh, like you know, from the scratch, what exactly but happens? Or so we will be talking about uh, right from a scratch. We start right from the scratch of okay. developing a PDLD model, and from there we'll start uh, discussing, right, okay. after okay. the stress testing of it. So we'll talk about each and every aspects of the model. Okay, thank you. Vinay, yeah. I'm just coming back to you. Okay. So, uh, yeah, Ajaz, anything you would like to ask me before we start off? Yes, just a, a quick question from my side. In terms of uh, the, the course, uh, also, I'm very keen to understand what is your expectation from us as the trainees in terms of the tools and what kind of prep work you would like to us to do as we go along with you in order to okay. make this journey so successful for I'll both of us. I'll show you how the classes are conducted. Okay. I'll just share my screen with you guys. Just let me know if you can see my screen. Okay, then I'll first show you that how the classes are done and then I'll uh, share my expectations with you, right? And as I was, thank you for bringing up this question. This was really required. 